I just need my money. You're a man of your word. You're grown up now. I just need my one dollar. You promised me I would get a dollar. Right, if Ben done. Simmons was not averaging 10 points a game, thank you. Ben Simmons, <laughs> I, at this point, you're costing me money. I don't know where you're going to go, but you get the fuck out of New York personally. We don't really want you around. You're a disgrace. Philly, y'all are suckers for shipping them over to us. Y'all can take them. Personally, you fucked your whole stock up. I don't know nobody who wants you. But you can leave New York. You're costing me money. Next episode of It Is What It Is. Hey, yo, they clowning. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And on the latest episode of It Is What It Is, a sports talk show by Cameron featuring Mace. You know, Cam makes a bet that Ben Simmons averages 10 points or less than Mace owes him money. And what do you know? Ben Simmons, his last game, he only made two points. And so he had to give Mace a dollar, which is a wild ass bet. Can y'all imagine being on FanDuel or DraftKings and under the Brooklyn Nets, it says Ben Simmons, 10 points under, 10 points over. Like, yo, that's that's wild. But anything's possible. You know, he said nobody wants Ben, but if Russell Westbrook had any type of offers and he made it to the Clippers, anything is possible. I know that ain't the same thing, but you know, we can't underestimate who wants who nowadays because I definitely didn't think Russ was going to no damn Clippers if you were to ask me, but hey, he made it. And you know, Philly, you see, they got rid of him. You know, I guess Brooklyn, I don't really know if there's any other teams at the time that wanted Ben Simmons, to be honest with you. And I ain't gonna lie, I actually rooted for Ben Simmons low-key when they went to the uh, playoffs last year with KD and Kyrie. There's a small part of me that was rooting for the underdog. Like, yeah, he gonna uh, get in the game and, you know, show them that, you know, they ain't as bad as they said he'd be. Ended up being worse. And now I believe he's out for the rest of the season due to back injury. I'm not sure the whole season, but I believe that's what I saw. Hey, it is what it is at this point. You just gotta chalk up your losses and, you know, call it for what it is. So let me know in the comments how you feel. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.